Now I got to ask you a question now is, um, you know, this, all this journey and going back and forth and, you know, going to school and then working for someone else and then going back to school and then traveling again and then coming back to entrepreneurship. What did you really discover about yourself along the way? Now something good and something that needed work. <laughs> you know, one of the biggest things for me was that I had to be more vulnerable. Mm becoming an entrepreneur because naturally I'm a very private person, but running a company, especially a marketing company, mm -hmm. you have to put parts of yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And I think I came to the realization when I decided to start my own business. And that's when I came back from Germany, sort of was a whole, you know, soul searching for months and months and months. What am I going to do with my life? And sort of ended up here. And that was a whole nother journey in and of itself. Mm -hmm. But going through that, I, I understood that if I want to start a business and I, I'm going to be the face of the business, I need to be vulnerable and I need to put parts of myself out there, um, you know, still where I feel comfortable. But I think that there's been a lot of growth in that and evolving in that um, by by following all of it. And I think that's where I've become sort of better over time. Well, I'm glad that you've become more vulnerable and put more of yourself in, into the world because I honestly think that that uh, I really feel it's a, it's hard for people and it's hard to yeah. be vulnerable. It's hard to be seen because what if they don't like what they see? What if I say something wrong? What if I get canceled? What if I mean you just like it, if you can't be too careful and it's easier to be to be honest and fair. It's really easy to just kind of keep quiet on the subjects we're not supposed to talk about. You're not allowed to have a political opinion or you're not allowed to have a religious opinion. Or So just stay in the lines and stay in yeah. your lane and be quiet and you don't have to be vulnerable. Um, and I'm not saying we're waving all of those flags everywhere either. I just mean that like being vulnerable, being honorable to your true self, regardless of whether that's popular or whether that's well received, um, really takes a lot of courage. And, um, you know, you'd be surprised. I always have, um, you know, I actually have a something here that my mom gave me and it says you never know who you're inspiring and yeah. I think the more that we are authentic and honest with ourselves good bad or otherwise I mean I I try to do best to be my full authentic self and it's kind of like take it or leave it this is mm -hmm. this is what you get but um the same time you never know how your words how you're just showing up for yourself and being vulnerable inspires someone else to do the same and we all have something to share you know you have been on a path that i've never been on and so we can always learn from someone if we're willing to to share and we're willing to listen totally and you know i just tweeted something i think it was yesterday or a few days ago and I said, just because someone's not engaging in your content doesn't mean they're not watching. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing, right? You could be inspiring people that you don't even know about. They might never reach out and they might never tell you, but you just trust that everything you're putting out into the world is reciprocated in some form or shape, right? Yeah. And you know, that's always been my mission. If I can help just one person, I even wrote, you know, talking about transitioning to this wonderful book that's coming out. I'm so excited about it. Um, brand love, but like, well, like transitioning into that, writing my book is it, talking about vulnerable, talk yeah. about being vulnerable, write a book and you will feel the deepest vulnerability yes. that you can feel when you write a book, because it's a piece of your soul that you cannot take back or delete yes. out of the universe you write a book you publish it it's just out there out there. out there and so whether or not you love it hate it whatever it is a piece of you that's now floating wherever and again i thought to myself if i write this book and it helps one person I've accomplished my goal. And mm -hmm. honestly, before it ever hit the market, before it even sold a single copy, before anything, before it left my hands, I got, <laughs> I'm going to show you my, my trusty, rusty, marked up, beat up. That's what I do. After resale author copy, right? And when I first got this in my hand, I, first of all, I cried like a baby, oh. like a big baby. And was like, look at this, my book. But then I was like, I said, my goal was to inspire at least one person with this. The first time I held it in my hand, money. it was me. So I thought, you know what? I inspired myself. Got goal yeah, accomplished. I love it. Goal accomplished. If I can't, if I can't inspire myself with being having the courage to hit send, hit publish on that on that desktop there, that was definitely one of my jobs. I was like, I, I don't know. I can't undo this once it's done. 